Merry Christmas guys and today I'm going to show you how to make French toast. Is this a French toast or something but it's a toast. So guys just go with the flow that is a toast. I don't know it's French toast. I don't know there are so many toasts. So first we are going to cut our ingredients and for these ingredients we need the bread. The, the main ingredient is the bread and the eggs. So and then for the vegetables we are going to add in the tomatoes the onions if you are if you like uh, the green bell pepper you can just add the colored ones the red the yellow and the green just chop them into smaller pieces like that and then we're going to beat our eggs for this recipe i used uh, how many eggs five but here i showed you three but because we are many in our family i just use five or six so we are going to beat our eggs until they are completely mixed the the yolk what is the white part? The yolk and the what? And the white part. I don't know the name of that. But the white the white part and the yolk. You're going to mix them with the onions. You see mine. I've thinly cut my onions. Cut them into smaller or tiny. You can you can grate them or you can just cut them into tiny pieces. And then for this I used I did not have the green bell pepper. So I used spring onions, which works perfectly. So if you don't have, just use whatever you have, guys. Like I always told you, this channel is all about whatever you can have, you can afford. Yes. If it is only onions you can use, well and good. If it's only the eggs you can use, well and good. But also, if you use eggs only, you must give it that color. Like I always told you, guys, my food, I love them when they have that beautiful, appetizing color, like all the colors. You see, as you can see, here, there's the uh, onion color, the white part, the yellow, the purple part, the red onions, the green bell peppers, and the yellow egg. So, beet mix that, mix them completely, mix them completely like that. Yes, you see. And then now we are going to, after you everything has mixed nicely, you are going to dip our eggs for a short period of time. Like two seconds, two seconds is enough. You don't want your egg also to be, your bread to be soggy. And you know when it gets soggy, it won't cook on the inside and you don't want to eat raw egg. So make sure you dip it for two seconds is enough. Yeah, let's see mine. And then also on a different, on the fire, you're going to put just a little bit of cooking oil. Let that heat. And then when you, you remove your egg, you just put it on the, on the pan directly when the oil. What do I keep saying oil? It's not oil, it's oil. <laughs> oh my goodness. Or, or maybe it's just because of the talking that I've been talking so much. You know, I've, I usually record so many videos and then do voiceover at the same time. So... I've been doing so many voiceovers today, so if you hear me say oil, please understand it's just oil. <laughs> you see the way I've done? Yes. Make sure your oil is hot like that so that also the bread can have that crispy outside. It can be so crispy and then soft and moist on the inside. Yeah, I like that. I like when my food is crispy. Oh my goodness. Crispy, crispy, crispy. If you want to to catch me with the food, please hmm? make something crispy for me. I'll not leave your house. So like that, you're going to toss it, toss it. You see, mine was not done. Oh my God, look at that color. So beautiful. And also guys, this is majorly for breakfast. And I made this for my family as a break for breakfast. You can just take this with milk, hot Kenyan normal Kenyan tea. I think I've made a Kenyan um, video on tea. You'll go check it out, or maybe I can link it on the description. Yeah, black tea, Kenyan tea, any tea that you even water, or you just like that. But anyway, you must have an accompaniment. See, so beautiful that bread. Oh my goodness! And also, if you have the like the bigger bread or the it. Oh my goodness. It comes out soft, soft, softly. So instead of eating the normal, boring white bread that you just apply margarine on, please don't stop that, stop that. Once in a while on a Saturday, when you have time, please take time and make this for your family. It's so delicious, it's so yummy, it's so crispy, it's so easy to make. 
just you won't even like like I told you for me I have these spring onions on my on the on my kitchen garden. We buy tomatoes and what bread and oil. Just that and your family will eat. especially this season when the children's are home at the children's. The children are home for Christmas. Please make this during their uh, their school break. It they will really enjoy, they will love that home made food. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So hmm? look at the final product guys oh my goodness so yummy so delicious oh, i'm celebrating and also i usually make these videos way a month like for this for this bread i ate like a month ago and now i'm doing the voiceovers i usually make my videos uh i usually make a lot of videos so that i can only edit them with time and guys Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy and please make a uh, French toast like this and let me know in the comment section. I'll really appreciate you so much and continue my watching the other vi watching my other videos, guys. And if you're new to this channel, please watch all my videos. Watch this French toast recipe. It is so simple, so yummy, and so delicious. So thank you, guys, for watching. I really appreciate you. And for the new guys, please watch my other videos. I really enjoy. I really love you all. So stay tuned and enjoy all my recipes. And please remember to leave a comment if you like our recipe. Please let me know. So thank you so much. Merry Christmas, people. Bye.